Hey, and welcome. This is our Savannah VG. Well, it's been three long years, but now she's finally finished. It's been three years of repainting, rewiring, overhauls, repaints, a whole lot. But now it's finally finished and ready to fly. So, um, let's show you around our Savannah. May as well start up here at the front. We have a three blade ground adjustable bolly propeller made in Australia. Fantastic prop, lightweight, all carbon fibre, does a really good job. It's powered by a Rotax 912 ULS, 100 horsepower, so she's got plenty of power and good fuel economy too. Burns 18 litres now in cruise, which is fantastic. Also, this is a Savannah VG model. As you can see, we don't have leading edge slats, but we have a wing full of vortex generators, hence, this is a Savannah VG. Also, it's a high lift wing profile as well. As you might have noticed, we also have dual pedostatic systems here for our avionics. We'll explain more of that later. Anyway, it's two seat, high wing, all aluminium aircraft, cruises 85 knots. So it's not the fastest thing, which is great for your logbook, but 85 knots is no worse than a um, Cessna 152 or something like that. Here's that wing profile. Also, we have our store speed of about, about 25 to 30 knots. We can fly an approach speed at 40 knots, land at 30 quite easily. As you can see, we have full span flapperons here, They're both flap and aileron, which also give fantastic low speed control, especially in the um, high angle of attack regime, because you've still got full airflow over those ailerons while you're um, the high angle of attack. I know it's a nose of a bush plane, but we do have fat tyres. So Trent Palmer and um, Greg Swingle don't stress out too much. We do have fat tyres in the garage waiting to go on here, but we need to um, upgrade the brakes first because with those fat tyres, the brakes just aren't powerful enough and the, you can't even do a run up, so it just drags itself. So the fat tyres are going on there soon, so don't worry about that. She's not the most attractive aircraft, but I think it's quite good. People call it the flying garden shed. Here we have a tail. Because it's a slow speed bush plane, we have relatively large elevators and rudders. As you can see, we've got plenty of, plenty of movement in this elevator. Both ways, and a big full size rudder, which is fantastic for great control, even at speeds as low as 30 knots. And also having a high tail, yeah, um, on landing you have angles of attack up to 20 degrees so we have come pretty close to actually striking tail on the ground and it has been done before and as you see up here we have three fuel tanks now we even have three fuel tanks because this has a max takeoff weight of only 540 kilos so we have three full tanks myself and Sally my wife who also flies this aircraft and 20 kilos of baggage we're at our max takeoff weight so there's not really much point with the added weight of having putting that four fuel tank in with extra range so with these four fuel, three fuel tanks, sorry, not four, four, we still have an endurance over five hours. We've got 115, 115 litre, litres, yeah, usable, and burning 18 litres an hour, so we've got plenty of endurance. Anyway, that's our fantastic Savannah, but we'll, um, I'll show you the interior in the um, in our video, because it's not quite what you call a standard Savannah. Okay, what we're proud of the most with our now um, Savannah, after three years of work, is our instrument panel. As we can see, we have two white pads, one either side, which both have electronic EFBs installed as well, one of each type. In the middle, we have an MGL avionics, engine management, and also our radio. Up above overhead instrument panel, we have all our switches, which keeps our panel nice and clean. Okay, out of the way. And both these AHAS units are powered by eye level um, AHAS units, two independent units, independently powered, and two pedostatic systems. That's why we have two pedostatic tubes either side the wing. And no, the aircraft isn't rated for IFR. Unfortunately, Australian rules don't allow that. Anyway, yeah, we have a cruise speed of 85 knots and a five hours endurance, so it's quite a comfortable place to be and nice aircraft to fly. So anyway, that's a quick intro to our Savannah, ICP Savannah. Um, I think we haven't flown this for th almost three years now. We're about to um, park in an hour of circus to get the feel of how she flies again before we start off with more adventures and a lot more videos to come. Mm -hmm.